Good morning, everybody. Hello, love radiators all over the world. Good morning and welcome to Spring Force Qigong. Yada, yada, yada. Got it. Good morning, everybody. Good morning and welcome to Spring Force Qigong every day. Wherever you are in the world, thank you for being here. It's a blessing to have you and it's my honor to be able to lead you in today's practice of Spring Force Qigong every day as developed and uh, taught to me by Grandmaster Chen Yi Lin. So welcome to Spring Force Qigong every day. My name is Terry Lears and I am your host today. This is day four and uh, we're gonna have some fun today as we practice the Spring Force Qigong five active exercises. So before we get going, get your water, light a candle, light incense, go to that special place. Go to that place that is most comfortable and special for you. So get comfortable. And if this is your first time, uh, welcome. I'm uh, honored that you're here and that you're going to and trust me with uh, your, your Qigong practice today. And if you're a veteran or alumni, thanks for coming back. Thanks for returning. Thanks for uh, being here and sharing your love there. Today's practice uh, is dedicated to, in fact, everybody, everybody watching, all the love radiators out there that are practicing with me and practice with Spring Forest Qigong every day from around the world. So this day, this practice is dedicated to you. So once again, get yourself uh, comfortable, get your water, because as you know, Master Lin says through our chi and yi, we can encode, we can send a message, a healing message into the water. And, uh, and we can use that water later on uh, in the day to uh, energize and heal and protect ourselves uh, as it is nourishing and refreshing with that beautiful message that you've sent in to the, the water. So get your water and make yourself comfortable. So once again, my name is Terry Lears. I'm a certified practice group leader. I'm certified to teach uh, Qi activation, which I love to do. And uh, I love to practice Qigong, Spring Force Qigong, uh, whenever I can. In fact, uh, uh, if you are familiar with the uh, Head to Toe Healing book, uh, there are many helpful and useful tips within that. And before I actually get to that, I'll, I'll tell you a story where I actually uh, was <clears throat> hiking the Camino uh, Santiago uh, in uh, Portugal. And I was hiking for 20, 25 miles a day. And uh, after about five days of this, I noticed a, a significant pain in my hips and in my knee, of course. And then I recalled how Master Lin had taught us how to rub your palms together, activate that healing, loving light that's stored not only within your heart, but within your your uh, cells of your bodies, just like little batteries that store up uh, energy. And I just rubbed my hands together and I applied the healing, loving light, visualizing it coming out from the palms of my hands, to my hips, and also to my knees. It sent a healing message, completely healed, inflammation is gone, pain is gone. And you know what? It was gone. And I, could, I continued on my uh, my my journey there and uh, was very happy that I was able to remember that I was born a healer, as Master Lin says. And uh, I'd also like to offer a couple more uh, suggestions that are in uh, the Head to Toe Healing book. And that deals with uh, 
just uh, uh, breathing for reducing stress or calming yourself. Uh, and it could be done first thing in the morning or throughout the day. And that's just to slow down your breath, slow down and just focus on your breath as you breathe in through the nose and exhale through the nose where wherever you might have a pain or you're just uh, tense or stress, just close your eyes, inhale, and imagine healing, loving light, that energy coming in. And it can come in as a ball of light and just imagine, just it comes into your body, comes into your heart, just relaxing, soothing, sweetly, separating you from whatever pain or stress. And if you do have pain or uh, an associated uh, uh, problem in, in the, the body in a particular area, just imagine that loving light coming down and shining and uh, uh, surrounding that pain and dissolving it. And so with every breath, that loving light gets stronger and more powerful, and more powerful and lighter and brighter. And uh, you'll find out that uh, it works there. And as Master Lin says, uh, if you think it'll work and it works, that's great. If you don't think it's gonna work and it works, well, that's great too. So uh, just remember, uh, as I mentioned, have faith, feel it and focus. Uh, also for today, I want to just remind you a couple uh, uh, hacks. Uh, that I've discovered after listening to Master Lin, go slow, go slow. It's, it, Qigong is not one of these like this, as fast as you can go. Uh, that's, that's for another type of exercise or uh, type of uh, uh, fitness program. With Spring Forest Qigong, you wanna go slow. In fact, Master Lin, he recommends uh, being in nature. Uh, I recommend being in nature. I recommend being uh, barefoot, connect, remove all resistance, all forms of uh, 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 barriers. And the barriers could be in, in the way of uh, sound. You could hear uh, dogs barking. You could hear sirens, whatever. Um, get to that special place where you, you become quiet and it's your special place. So uh, barefoot. Keep the fingers separated, allow the chi to flow in, have loose clothing, uh, be near water, and uh, just go slow. In fact, Master Lin uh, told me at one time when he was doing the moving of yin and yang, and he recommends uh, three to five rotations. He said at one time it took him a couple minutes just to do one. And you'll discover the slower you go, the more you feel. And it's uh, very true to that adage, uh, to go fast, you go slow. So to go fast and accelerate your uh, achievement, your development, development of your uh, spring force Qigong active exercise, go slow. And then you will feel it, you will feel the spaciousness, you will feel the chi coming in. So uh, just trust yourself, go slow. And, uh, and just uh, remember good, better, best. And whatever is best for you, I submit is perfect for you. So let's begin, <clears throat> let's begin. And make yourself comfortable as you stand with your feet comfortably on the floor, flat and begin to just <clears throat> bounce. And another hack, if you will, or a suggestion is bending the knees when you inhale on uh, breathing of the universe or uh, connecting to heaven and earth and connecting with, uh, or moving the yin and yang. It helps to activate the kidney energy, which is uh, very supportive for losing weight. So if that's something that interests you, Remember, just allow yourself to, to bounce and bend the knees. As we breathe in through the nose, exhale, 
slowly through the mouth. And again, breathing in through the nose is healthier. It's, it's actually better for you. You get a better gas mixture of CO2 and oxygen, and uh, it's very refreshing. When you think about the nose, it's designed for breathing in as it moisturizes and, and clears out any toxins. And we tap underneath the eyes here, setting free any additional toxins through the stomach channels, the bladder channels, reacquainting ourselves with our true essence, calling attention to our breath, calling attention to things that might be on our mind that we want to include in our our intention today, our prayer, our practice. And that too is our Qigong as we send a message. And cupping the back of our head, moving down to the C7, the beautiful, loving C7, gently massaging circular motion. You can do this all throughout the day, especially if you've been looking down at a smartphone or device, creating a, a kink in your neck. Open up that, that passageway, allowing the nervous system to operate freely and beautifully. And underneath the, the armpit here, and likewise, right side. Then nine times on the top, the leg bone back in the pelvic girdle, celebrating the, the beautiful ligaments, tendons, muscles within our legs, and tapping gently on the tailbone and massaging the, the kidneys. Up to the knees, back to the knees. And completing this preparation. Again, remember the, these preparation movements and cupping and, and bouncing. You can do all throughout the day if you've been driving or sitting down. Um, a great way to open up the joints and points. So calling our attention to our heart, surfacing the prayer that resides deep within our heart. We call upon our master and submit that beautiful loving prayer intention to our master. We feel their, their love within our heart. So you start my internal love engine. Immediately find yourself on the threshold of divine grace as you say the password. I am in the universe, the universe is in me, universe and I combine into one. And with a beautiful smile on your face, and tip of the tongue and the roof of your mouth. Just see all things as one, no separation as you are now, the universe, feeling loving light, shining down as you begin moving of yin and yang, bringing in unlimited supply of happiness. As you breathe it in, Just feel the waves of love. Continually 
washing through you, into you, and from you. To see all your channels open, any blockages, any excess energy, It's no longer loving or serving or supporting you. Slipping away, turning to smoke. Returning back to the native nothingness. So you send it off with Blessing of love and thank you. I just feel this beautiful, loving light just shining all through you. Accompanied by waves of beautiful happiness. Just continual wave of loving light dissolving. everything that's no longer loving or serving you. And with one more, you feel drawn to your lower Dantian, your connection to the oneness resides deep within you. She now begin this communion with the universe as you breathe in infinite joy softly, sweetly embracing this infinite joy as your birthright Getting stronger and stronger. See your masters, your guides, your ancestors. Standing by. shining their loving light upon you. Just wave after wave of joy. Surrounding you, supporting you. flowing to every cell. Going deeper and deeper to every molecule. Every atom embraced and imbued with this beautiful joy. See each atom glistening. Just shining, illuminating. And with one more, 
we continue to receive. If you feel drawn towards heaven with your hands and feel a deep connection to Mother Earth through the pads of your feet as you begin to immediately fall into the rhythm of heaven above and earth below. She breathe in peace, a peace of total alignment. She draw in this loving peace. Just see yourself aligned with heaven above, aligned with Mother Earth, and know that you are a child. You are a child of the universe. You're an expression of all that is possible. Just drawing in this loving, gentle, peace, The more you feel, the more you want. The more you want, the more you are gifted. And the more you're gifted, the more you wanna share. Just visualize yourself sending peace. radiating peace all throughout your home, throughout your town, throughout your country. So you radiate peace all around the world. And with one more Just allow yourself to, again, be attracted to your source deep within your lower dantian. You join your fingers together in the shape of a heart, just spaced out from your lower dantian. Feeling the rhythmic pattern of the life force spiraling in as you begin connecting with your body's energy, just softly, sweetly inhaling as you move over the left leg, exhaling over the right. In perfect rhythm. with the heartbeat of the universe. Feeling so content. Just see yourself as pure contentment. See yourself as pure consciousness of contentment. Every part of your essence is in the infinite ocean of beautiful contentment. And with one more, we transition to 
connecting with our heart's energy. As we focus on our heart and place our hands gently, softly together. Recalling that our contentment is a result of all the blessings that have been laid before us by the oneness. And as you reflect, just gently bow your head as you breathe in and reflect. Remember all the beautiful blessings, this gratitude surrounds you. It shines from your heart, this beautiful gratitude. Feeling deep appreciation. Gently, sweetly, softly, yielding to the blessings, no matter what form they are presented to you, just acknowledge these beautiful blessings. And with one more, We complete our moving meditation as we rub our palms together, focusing on our lower Dantian and that beautiful life force, that love force that's just been gifted to us. And let's massage our lower Dantian as we harvest, honor, protect, shield, and secure this loving light as a beautiful energy diamond. This becomes faster and faster, smaller and smaller. We place it deep within our navel and that beautiful crystal altar that resides within each one of us. And moving up to our face, massage your face, honor, harvest, protect, shield. Just appreciate the blessing this infinite stream, reservoir, and supply of that happiness, joy, peace, contentment, gratitude, and love that exists is always there for you. It's always there. Massaging the ears, just tugging down just a little bit, gently, sweetly, and patting the head. And the inside of your left arm. Yeah, just, just throughout the day, feel it. Notice what's different. Be curious. Be curious. Get out of the box and allow yourself to go, wow, did I feel something? Or was there a new emotion going on there? Yeah, just, just be curious and explore. Master Lin says, feel it. All right, harvesting this beautiful chi. We come to the end of our third day together, or actually your fourth day. And massaging the kidneys. And again, visualizing, sending loving light through the palms into the kidneys. Top of the knees. Back of the knees, side of the left knee, side of the right knee, and completing with a hand clap and a heel drop. Ah, and reflecting on this beautiful practice, reflecting on the blessings, and reflecting on our masters. We give a bow of thanks, recognizing our masters, our tradition 
and we bow and recognize each other as love radiators all around the world, practicing together, recalling, remember, remembering, renewing the fact that we know we were born a healer. So I wanna thank you very much, uh, bless you. I hope you enjoy today's uh, practice. And uh, if you need to or want to reach out to me, I have uh, multiple uh, Zoom practices uh, each week. And uh, you can contact me at my website, terrylears.com or uh, just send an email uh, to uh, terrylears.sfq at gmail.com. So tomorrow, we're going to wrap up our week together. Uh, and we'll be introducing uh, Sue Kreitz as the uh, leader for next week. But before we go there, we'll uh, have one more uh, chance to practice together to uh, uh, help uh, collectively uh, transform uh, the world and to uh, manifest Master Chen Yi Lin's uh, vision of uh, a healer in every home, every family, and a world without pain and suffering. So uh, it doesn't get any better than that, if you ask me. Uh, that's, that's something uh, very astounding and is very doable too. So let's make it happen. So I'll see everybody tomorrow. Thank you very much. God bless you. Bye-bye.